Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting some Primaris Space Marines in a metallic blue finish from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. If you check the description box down below there'll be a direct link to their web store and this link helps my channel so please use the link in the description box provided. Ok guys, uh, as always these videos are very very long so go grab yourselves a nice hot drink and maybe a nice ice cold beer and we'll get started. After building the Primaris Space Marines I'm going to prime the miniatures using Vallejo Gloss Black Primer. The reason I'm using a Gloss Black Primer is it will help the reflective properties of the metallic blue paint we'll be using later on in the video. You can use a standard black primer, but you'll get slightly better results using a gloss black primer instead. Here I'm priming at about 25 psi, and I'm just making sure that I get a nice smooth even coat of the primer onto the miniature. Also note that I changed the angle of the miniature to make sure that I'm covering it from all angles it's important to make sure that the primer covers all of the miniature so make sure that you check all angles of the miniature while you're priming. Now we're going to be using Ammo of Mix Warhead Metallic Blue paint. It's really important that you shake this paint thoroughly. It has an agitator in the bottle and once it's thoroughly mixed you'll start hearing the agitator in the bottle rattle against the bottle quite loudly. Also spray at low PSI about 15 to 20 PSI and make sure that the paint goes on really thin and even. If you put the paint down too thick with this metallic blue paint, you can leave to pooling and staining of the paint. Again, as with the primer, I'm making sure all angles are covered and the whole of the miniature is painted with the metallic blue.
I left the ammo of MIG Warhead Blue metallic paint to dry thoroughly overnight. Then after that I'm coming back in now with Vallejo metal varnish, gloss varnish. The gloss varnish is going to help bring out the sheen of the metallic a little bit more and also enable me to put decals down nice and flat and even on the surface. I'm spraying the gloss varnish at higher PSI here, about 30 to 35 PSI and I'm making sure that the miniature gets a nice even coverage but I'm also being careful that I don't swamp the model with gloss varnish which will lead to drips and runs. Painting white can be a very tricky colour. I find the best way to paint white is not to actually use white very, very much and to actually use an off-white colour. Here I'm using Celestial Grey from Games Workshop. I'm painting the knee pad on the Sergeant. And what I'll do is I'll base coat using Celestial Grey. Then I'll do a 50-50 mix of Celestial Grey and a Vallejo Model Air White and this will be good enough to get a nice even smooth white result. I have also added decals to the miniatures. I've skipped um, this part of the video of adding the decals because I've shown it many times in tutorials before but I basically use Microset from Microscale Industries to help place the decals onto the miniature to help flatten them out more. I'm now going to do a panel wash on the Primaris Space Marines. 
I use a mixture of Norn Oil Gloss and a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Black. So three parts or three drops of Norn Oil Gloss to one drop of Vallejo Model Air Black. You may hear people using different terms for this technique, a pin wash, a panel line wash, or a line wash. But basically what we're doing is making sure that the wash that we've created goes into all the recesses of the model and it doesn't go and pull on the surface of the miniature. Because of the gloss varnish on the Space Marines, the natural capillary action of the brush will help the ink flow nice and easily into all the cracks and crevices of the miniature. Now I'm going to be using Vallejo Liquid Gold, Old Gold. Now I've used this many many times before over the years but I stopped using it as I found it to be a bit of a hassle to use as it's a paint based in alcohol and you need to use alcohol to clean your brushes afterwards. But what I found with the new improved formula is that it doesn't dry on the brush as much and it runs more smoothly onto the miniature. And this gold guys is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you trying out the Vallejo Old Gold Liquid Gold series.
all the metallics that are due to be painted in a silver color are going to be painted using Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver. The panels on the gun is going to be painted using Games Workshop's Mechanica Standard Grey. The reason I don't use black is it's very very hard to shade and highlight black without it looking cartoony. So I find using Mechanica Standard Grey and then giving it a wash of Norn Oil afterwards gives a really nice effect. You can also come in with a hard edge highlight of Celestial Grey afterwards on the panels and it will look really nice. Here I'm applying a base coat of Games Workshop's Rhinox Hide.
all the metallics that were painted in Vallejo chainmail silver is going to get a wash of Games Workshop's Norn oil, including the Mechanica standard grey panels. Agrax Earthshade Gloss Wash is placed onto all of the gold areas. The eyes of the Primaris Space Marines are going to be painted in Vallejo Game Air Silver. Games Workshop's technical paint Spirit Stone Red is going to then be placed over the Vallejo Game Air Silver and it's going to re make a really nice reflective red colour. All the purity seals are base coated with Games Workshop's Zandri Dust. They're then highlighted using Games Workshop's Ashabti Bone and then I wash them with Games Workshop's Seraphine Sepia.
Now I'm going to paint Citadel's Texture Martian Iron Earth paint onto the bases. It's very important that you practice using this Martian Iron Earth on a spare old base before placing it on your miniatures. The reason I mention this is if you place it on too thick, the cracks will be absolutely massive and out of scale and just peel off the base and look terrible. If you place it on too thin, the cracks will be so minuscule you won't even see them. So you have to find a happy medium of how thick you place the Martian Iron Earth on the base. So this is why I recommend practicing with it first. Agrax Earthshade is washed on all of the pouches. I use a 50 50 mix of XV88 and Mournfang Brown to highlight the pouches. Unfortunately I forgot to hit the record button during this stage but it's just a case of hard edge highlighting all around the pouches with a 50-50 mix of XV88 and Mournfang Brown. And here we have our finished Primaris Ultramarine Metallic Space Marines. I absolutely love these new Primaris Space Marines. The scale is absolutely perfect and if I'm quite honest it's going to be hard to paint the old Space Marines after painting these. I really hope you've enjoyed this video guys. If you have, please smash the like button. Also. I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon page guys. Each month I give great prizes away to my Patreon supporters. So please check it out guys. And please pledge your support to me on Patreon. Lastly guys, I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. They got me the Dark Imperium box out early. So I could get this tutorial out as quickly as I could. So thank you to Goblin Gaming, don't forget to check the description box down below for my Patreon and Goblin Gaming, thank you very much for watching guys, I appreciate all your support and I'll catch you in the next video.